Right. I'll start again. Yeah. Now, just posted an article about two minutes ago. The article is about Bitcoin. Now, I posted the other day about innovation. You may have seen it, you may have not. So, this is a tablet. Yeah, and you can see the reflection of what's on screen. Now, that's a tablet. This is a mobile. Now, I'm a very strong believer in seeing with your own eyes is believing. Now, when I talk about innovation, what I'm talking about is this. In 1967, when I was born, That didn't exist. Neither did that. The computer, which is just down on the floor at this precise moment, that didn't exist. That computer didn't exist. And the reason why I'm pointing this out is this. People have talked for, what, well, maybe the pa past few years about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Now, years and years ago, when I was little, nipper, about this high, when I was kicking a football, the devices I've just showed you, they didn't exist. Inside these devices is a motherboard and a processor. That is very slow, as is the computer which is in the sitting room very very slow but here's the best bit innovation smart minds that think new ideas now I could show you other mobile phones that my mum, who's 76, she's got them in a drawer. She will not part with them, even though some of them are very, very old. And my sister sent my mum this touchscreen, yeah? Not much good to my mum. There's been many a time where we've gone out in the car, in the mobile I'm speaking to you on, which is a Samsung S10, that connects to the car. It can't at the moment because I can't use the car. Modern cars have computers inside them. They help you with when you drift over the white line. Now, here's the crunch. Okay. In all of these devices is a motherboard and a chip. That's the heart of it. Now, 
I'm going to tell you about planes which carry freight, some carry passengers. And some, well, the majority of them have a little button. It's called autopilot. So computers are in our life. That's the truth. Now, here's a scary thought. Just think, if the motherboard hadn't been thought of, the processor hadn't been thought of, and you wake up tomorrow morning, your mobile doesn't exist. Your computer doesn't exist. The massive workload that you would go through, having to write stuff down, or maybe typing on a typewriter. You see, innovation, Cryptocurrency and Bitcoin have not been out long. And when these people in the press, in governments, our government too, are going on about, oh, it can be stolen, data can be stolen and such and such. Well, Here's the thing, when I created my cryptocurrency that's on the waves.exchange to create the account you have to do security and you've got to make that security rock solid. Now if you do that and you have your passwords and other vital components hidden, secret, your money is safe. And what I mean by that is most people who do crypto have a thing called a ledger it's normally about this big it's a little digital wallet and you've got to punch in a password nobody else knows that password just you so when you put something on that device it stays on that device. Now, I've spoken quite a bit about this. Oh, one second. Cat is bugging me. Hello, in you come. Yes, cat. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Now, I've said many, many times about working with animals like this little bugger here he is adopted because when we moved here he came and sat on my knee in the back garden so here's the thing there is no power on earth that can stop innovation. So, Bitcoin, 18 point something million have been mined. This Cat, you know what it is? Make your bloomer mind up. That's why I was saying to you about animals and children, because small children, they just do their own thing. 
I used to as well. <laughs> now, the thing is this, right? You can't stop Bitcoin. When it gets to 21 million, no more can be mined. Its price should, if I'm correct, keep doing that. Yeah. Crypto assets, altcoins, tokens, altcoins you spend in shops. That's, that's what they are. Tokens, they are for business. That is your premises and anything related to what you're trying to do. Now, the Financial Conduct Authority, the Bank of England, the Federal Reserve, you can throw the kitchen sink and everything you wish at it to stop it. But here's the point. If you're standing on a beach in the water that's tickling your toes, whether it be warm or cold, here in the United Kingdom it's going to be a little bit cold. Right? If the water suddenly rushed away from you, what would be your first thought? And I'm being honest here. You see, in many cases, in far off places, when the water rushes away into the distance, that's your time to run to high ground. Now I hope that you're listening because this is going everywhere. You cannot stop Bitcoin from increasing. You cannot stop cryptocurrency, altcoins or tokens. It's physically impossible. The reason why they're all around the planet. They're on devices which I've just shown you. Simple as that. You take away all those devices, it's possible. But I would think if that ever happened, there'd be somebody smart enough to turn around and find a solution to get back up and running. So, that's what I'm saying. You can believe it or you don't. That's your choice. 